What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so I was going to list these zinc coins. Uh, yes, 100% zinc. Don't melt these. You'll die. Um, but then I'm like, I'm going to go in the basement and um, look for some new treasures to, to resell. Basically turn in some of the stuff that I helped um, move my parents a, a like, long time ago, like 20 years ago. And I kind of found this like huge treasure chest full of brand new, easy to list items. So let me show you the bin I found. All right, so this is a Sterlite bin. It's a very, very, very big bin. And normally, you know, you put like your pots and pans in there, but dude, look at all this brand new Hallmark um, ornaments. I mean, it's, it's insane. Now I know it's, <laughs> it's end of February, but um, I think if I price these out right, they'll just they'll just sell super fast. Um, so, anyways, let's let's get back in the coin booth, and um, I'll kind of go through these briefly. But I want to say at minimum, each one of these is at least a ten dollar worth ten bucks. And if there's a hundred in here, that's a lot of money. It's over a thousand dollars, which would be nice to turn these ornaments into actual inventory for my coins. So anyways, let's look some of these up, just give you guys an idea. Okay, so I'm just going to start grabbing these. Um, I do not know how to video edit, basically put the price of the item in the upper right hand corner of your screen, so I do apologize, but uh, made in Thailand, it's interesting. But these are all basically brand new, so what my mother would do is um, after Christmas, she'd go into Hallmark and... I believe Hallmark used to have like 50, 70, 80% off sales. And it was kind of like first come first serve. I just remember like this is the last store I wanted to be in when I was um, an older child. But um, brand spanking new stuff. Uh, I believe this one's from 1998. I did already look this one up. The most recent comp is like 10 bucks plus about $5 shipping and handling. And I already have the boxes to ship Hot Wheels, although I need to order some more. So I bought a bunch of these boxes, and let me just make sure these fit. I'll make a box here real quick. So the boxes I got, um, I want to say they were from Amazon, maybe they were from eBay, um, but they're about 50 cents each. So I've got nothing in these ornaments besides the fact that they've been sitting in the storage bin in a corner. I completely forgot about it. And um, typically what I'd do is I wouldn't pack it like this. Um, I'll probably pick up some more of these bags because I like my stuff to kind of be waterproof. Uh so let me make sure this would work. Yeah, so this is how I like, this is not like normally ship my Hot Wheels. So I would bag the ornament, uh, place a piece of tape here on the back of it, stick it down. And then once you have it stuck with tape, it doesn't move. You don't have to put any extra packing or waste any other material. Uh, I'd write my little thank you card in there and uh, seal the box up. And I want to guess these will probably, none of these will be more than eight ounces. And eight ounces you can usually ship to someone for under five bucks so yeah these are all just going to be like the hot wheels a little bit over four ounces so very cool so some people that live closer by they'll be able to get um shipping for under four dollars so i guess the question is is it worth the time listing these yes and um if they're all brand new which they appear to be so um this will be a nice little score um, I wish I was opening a bunch of, you know, silver dollar coins and stuff to show you guys, but that's not what this video is going to be about. Uh, so we'll start with, let me just grab some Donald Ducks. Now, I don't know if this one's older. The problem with these things is they don't really show the dates, but the fact that they're made in Thailand and not in Germany, or I'm sorry, not in Germany, uh, not in China, tells me that... Uh, I guess, do you call this vintage nowadays? I don't know. Stuff from the 90s doesn't feel vintage to me, but I guess it is, considering it's 2023. Right, guys? Um, this one's interesting, though. This has a higher retail price, so we'll look that bad boy up. 
I'm just gonna grab some Donalds. Uh, we'll grab this guy. Baton twirler, Daisy. Oh, I thought that was Donald. All right, sorry, Daisy. <laughs> like Donald Duck. <laughs> uh, Canada, man. This this has to be from the '90s because look at that trade difference. Um, I feel kind of bad even opening this, but I just want to make sure these are all brand new. I'm pretty sure they are. I never remember any of these being hung on a tree. So, yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Dude, doesn't that look like Donald? Like, I always thought Daisy wore pink, but... Nope, it's Daisy. Disney 2000. Oh, these are from 2000. Oh, man. There it is. Duh. <laughs> I can't read, guys. Sorry. Handcrafted, dated 2000. Handcrafted, dated 1999. Does it say it on this one, too? All right. We found the dates. So, 98, 99, 2000. Um, there's another Donald Duck. Passenger car. Fourth of five figurines. Mickey Express. Uh, dated 1998. So here's like a whole set of them. So probably would make sense to sell that as a set. And we got multiples. Got some goofy action. Uh, we got Mickey. First of five. So we got one, two, three, four, five. There's Goofy. Um, and there's Daisy. There's five. That's pretty cool. So let's see how many sets of just the choo-choo trains I have. So we got two Daisies. There's another Mickey. Oh man, there might be more than a hundred ornaments in here. This box, these box, some of these boxes are really tiny. Holy smokes, dude! Look at this one. Okay, that's from Germany. Dang, Stif, a Stif ornament, brand new in the box. F Friends for Lieben. Holy smoke! Well, it's got a UPC, so it's not that old, but, dude. This might be a hundred dollar piece here. All right, we're gonna have to look that up. Uh, we got some uh, Alice in Wonderland stuff going on here. Very cool, like these little scenes. Here's a scene. Uh, was that the fish from Pinocchio? What's up, little fish? Tiny Kingdom. Yeah, Pinocchio. It's a little Cleo. I bet you most of you guys already knew who that the name of that character was. I don't know the crazy rabbit. He looks like the rabbit. Oh, dude, there's a little, there's a little drunk teapot. What was that, a dog? I don't know. That was a mouse. <laughs> That's one crazy cartoon, man. That that cartoon's trippy. Um, here's a little rabbit with the clock. Dude, the crazy cat, Cheshire cat. That's so cool. What were these made? Six dollars. Yeah, my mom probably picked these up for a dollar. Cheshire Cat. Dude, it's in all these different languages, too. Um, yeah, I love when they don't put a date on it. Got a lot of languages. But like it says, the UPC. So didn't UPCs come out in like the 82 or something like that? All right, well, we'll look those up. <laughs> we were pulling trains, right? Uh, for the Disney, and then all of a sudden we got distracted. There's Alice in Wonderland. So cool. Very detailed. So I know these are ornaments, but a lot of times people just, like, collect these. Like, they'll put them... Like, this is a straight-up ornament right here. Mini trims the tree. So it looks like we're going to have a lot of 99... 2000... Dude, a snow angel. Mickey's making a snow angel. 97. All right, we're getting older here. Oh, no way. This is awesome. <laughs> Look at this. 
No freaking way. Ren and Stimpy show. Oh, joy. You'll really like this. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't know Hallmark. Like, wait, is this Hallmark? That's Carlton Cards, but... No way. Did did Hallmark really sell Ren and Stimpy? Oh, that's too funny. 1998. Wow. God, this thing was expensive back then. Look at that. 15.95. Dude, that's cool. That's got to be at least a twenty dollar bill, maybe forty. Look how psychedelic <laughs> little Chihuahua looks. All right, I don't know if you guys know Ren and Stimpy, but that is some funny stuff. Uh, someone did. Looks like open this to see what's inside. I just want to see what it looks like. Oh, no way. That's so cool. Oh, they look even crazier. <laughs> look how crazy these guys look. It's like they're getting electrocuted. By the Dude, that is scary. So Ren looks like completely blasted out of his mind. Um, <laughs> that is the funniest thing I've seen. Uh <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever watched Ren and Stimpy, but um, it, it was just, it's, it's pretty violent. <laughs> uh, my, my favorite is when uh, Stimpy just starts eating cat litter. That's one of the funniest scenes. Well, that's really cool. <laughs> so it's like, here, I thought we had a bunch of Disney, and then there's a random <laughs> Ren and Stimpy in there. It's too funny. So 97, Mickey, Mickey and the band. Wow, look at this bad boy. Snow White. With, uh... Um, what's his name? Dopey? That's, like, so politically incorrect now. <laughs> Calling the characters. It is Dopey, right? There's Doc. Um, Sneezy. Grumpy. That one was Dopey. And then Dopey... Why does he have hair? Oh, he has a hat on, because I'm like, Dopey didn't have any hair. Um, 1997. Very cool. What else we got here? This is cool. Like Donald and Daisy in Venice. New series ornament. Wow. 1998. Very, very cool. So I don't know if some of these are like repops, but they're so old now. I mean, most of the people know, like probably bought these new, you know, that watch my channel. Uh, this one feels loose. Let's see. Oh, uh, that's just how they put them in there back in the day. So that's weird. So some of these, like, they're just in there like that. But they give you a little certificate of authenticity. Very, very cool. Uh, Mickey and Minnie in Paradise. Oh, that's pretty cool. So I could see, like, I could picture someone buying this and giving it as a gift to their significant other. And I don't know if the newer generation is thinking, like, maybe they think this stuff's cool again. But I got to say, there was a time period where it's like, that's all you saw was Mickey Mouse and stuff. And then it kind of, like, chilled out a little bit. But there's definitely, like, people that collect these. Wow, 2002. That's a cool little clock. How much was this brand new? Fourteen ninety five. Uh, got some Garfield action here. So that, that's actually that's actually a Valentine's Day one, even though it says Christmas greetings. And he is in there backwards. I I think he's supposed to be in like that maybe. Uh, we'll call this open box. And when was this made? This is not a toy. 1996, so a little bit older. So it looks like the collection stopped accumulating in 2002. Um, there's a little cat, but he got disconnected from the base. A little Figaro. Hey, Figaro. What's going on, dude? There you are, Figaro. Hi, Figaro. There's a little Figaro there. So that's from Pinocchio. 1940. Man, that's so long ago. That's not when the ornament was made. I'm just saying when the movie was made. Tasty surprise. All right, so 1998. I have no idea. Like, this might not even be worth listing, but maybe it's a $5 bill for someone. And we got our Grinch. 
uh, the Grinch in nice mode here with the little doggy. 1998. That's cool. I uh, got a snowman here. Snow buddies. So again, like these non-character ones that are just kind of like cute. Um, they might be worth money because of the actual sculptor, but I gotta imagine like this lady's retired by now. Chocolate chipmunk. Oh, I remember this ornament. Yeah, this thing's empty. <laughs> I think I sold that one already. <laughs> Where'd you go, chocolate chipmunk? Someone got hungry and ate the ate the cookie and then ate the chipmunk, so that sucks. That one's empty. Uh, I've got an open gingerbread house. I think it's an ornament, but there's really nothing to hang it with, so maybe this is something that you would put on the base somewhere. So that's cool. Um, this guy feels empty. Or he's just like super light made out of air. Yeah, he's tiny, dude. Look how small that is. Oh man. Like did, I think Hallmark still like makes these, but like look at the price on this. Five ninety five back in nineteen ninety eight. So that's like equivalent of like a twenty dollar bill nowadays, right? So like I haven't been in Hallmark in a long time. Not even to buy like cards because I'll go to the dollar store or I'll go to Jewel, which is where local grocery store, kind of like a Kroger. Um, they just call it Jewel. Jewel Osco here in Illinois. But um, does Hallmark still like sell these for 20 bucks in their store? Or maybe like maybe they're like 10 now since it's five ninety five. Yeah, that was probably like a $10 bill back in 98. In 98 was kind of cool, man. You could like, you can get gas for 99 cents. Oh, why am I showing this dude? That thing's empty. All right. We got Girl Talk, Minnie Mouse, and Daisy Duck. They're on <laughs> really old phones. <laughs> See, so like if you showed this to like a kid today, they'd be like, why are they jump roping? <laughs> but they're not jump roping. That's the receiver, and then that's the talk piece, right? So the old phones, they would connect it by a cord, but you had to talk in one end, and you would listen on the other. Too funny, 1999. That's some history right there. Oh, we got the other passenger car. So Donald, it looks like we have a set that we started the video with trying to figure out. It looks like we had a, a double set of the the uh, um, the Mickey Express. There, mini mini plays the flute. Nineteen ninety eight. So I gotta imagine like anyone that's ever been in band would love this as a gift. Here's a cool car. Donald goes motoring. This one's heavy, too. This one's got some girth to it. Get out of the way. Donald's off for a spin in his snazzy red roadster. Just look at the grin. This one's made in China, so it's probably a 2000 piece, but that wasn't cheap back then. This is never. This box has never been open, so um, I feel kind of bad like opening these, but I'm going to have to. I mean, you got to make sure the right ornament's in there. One photograph and the stuff. Make believe boat, baby Mickey and company. That one's that one's pretty cool. Nineteen ninety-eight. Set of two ornaments. Again, twelve ninety five back in the day. Made in Sri Lanka. Does Sri Lanka still exist? Dog Dish Dilemma, Mickey and Company. So these look like newer. Yeah, two thousand. $12.95 ornament. And Pluto definitely went to town and was chewing his bowl like a bad dog. And he's got ice stuck on his tongue. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> Maybe it's water, but it looks like ice. Final putt, Minnie Mouse. Interesting. So that would be a good gift to give to the golfer in your life. Dated 1999. Um, I'm going to guess most of these are all kind of like the same price. But there might be like some super rare ones. Like the Ren and Stimpy one, I gotta imagine like that's gonna be worth more just because of the subject matter. It's uh but like Winnie Winnie the Pooh and Piglet here. Dude, people love Winnie the Pooh. Especially um Winnie the Pooh brand new <laughs> from nineteen ninety eight. So decorating a snowman. Um, very cool. I wish I would have found this man like in November or October. 
I guess if I list it in February, it'll be cool. All right, so Donald like looks really evil, but he's like wrapping presents or something. He's a surprise gift. I don't know. He looks kind of evil with those scissors in his hands. That's too funny. Uh, that's in 1997. So it looks like the, the series of these goes from 97 to 2000. Mickey's Long Shot. So again, for a golfer, very cool. 1095. And that was 90 to 1997. Uh-oh. Frosty Friends Collector Series. So it's just some random characters. That looks like the Coca-Cola um, polar bear. So that's 1999. I almost dropped all my, all my supplies here. We got next here. We're running out of room here. That's cool. Donald and Daisy. Donald does not look like he wants to go skiing. Daisy, I always thought was like super mean to Donald, but um, he had issues. So I kind of feel bad for Daisy. Day to two thousand. Yeah, Donald doesn't want to go skiing. <laughs> she dragged me out here. I'm just a duck. Um, Pluto plays triangle. That's cool. So again, for someone in the band, um, too bad it's not a cowbell because everyone knows you need a little, need more cowbell. I've got a fever. And the only cure is more cowbell. <laughs> uh, here we've got new pair of skates, Mickey and Company. So again, Mickey uh, Mickey doesn't like ice skating. Obviously, he's not good at it. I mean, he's helping him up. This one's pretty thick. It's a 1997. And that was a $14 ornament back in the day. And we got a big old Goofy playing the trombone with the duck inside. <laughs> goofy toots the tuba. Trombone, a tuba, dude. Get your get your instruments correct. 2002. Um, $14 ornament back in the day. And we've got the Evil Queen. Oh, yeah, when she was like, what was she using, like a duck, and she was hitting a hedgehog? Or she was using something, like a stork, as a, as a not a golf club, but, um, is it polo? I forgot what it's called. And we've got the walrus with the little clam. That was kind of towards the end of Alice in Wonderland. And then, oh, there's the cool alligator from uh, Captain Cook, from Peter Pan. Gotta love that. All right, so check out the bin and look how much more we have of these. Like, I'm gonna probably have to stop the video. This is getting too long. <laughs> Sorry, I got getting over a little bit of cold. So there's a top here and dude, oh my goodness. What is all this? This is insane. These are like, whoa. Dude, these are like handmade. Someone make this? That's a Peanuts character. Is that Linus? How much is this thing worth? I can't even see the date on it. Oh, 1982. Wow. Merry Christmas soccer ball. Old apple. cool horse and I don't know this this is insane these are from Japan because we had friends from Japan so it's an ornaments from there we got a toy soldier dude this is never ending oh my goodness dude dude there's Lucy dude what is this it's like a fan Man, this is like never ending. And what do we have underneath this box of custom? Oh, I don't want to spill this everywhere. Oh my goodness, dude, more ornaments. It's never ending. Holy smokes. There's the WB frog. The WB. Well, we'll end it on the WB, but... I might do a part two of this, but let me get all these Mickey and Minis listed, and then we'll do a part two of 
I guess the custom ornaments and then the other Hallmark ones down below. And um, if you want any of the things that I showed, I'll definitely put um, links in the video. I'm not going to individually link every single one. I will just categorize them in Christmas decorations. So when you go into my store, you can uh, check them out. But yeah, stand by for... Dude, peanuts, man. Stand by for video two. Wow, there's Eeyore and Piglet. Uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm not an ornament seller, but I think this is cool. All right, check it out on uh, video two. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Check it and uh, catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.